What is going on guys? My name is Frey Golden God. It's been a while since we played the burn deck, so let's get into it. Before today's video, I'm bringing you a Lurus Bubble Burn deck. Uh, this deck uh, was recommended to me. Well, I already played this deck, of course. But uh, some of my patrons wanted to see me play this deck, so here we are. Um, I haven't played in Burn in a while. I haven't checked everything in all the lists in a while. So let's get back into it. Um, now, if you saw my last video, my last like couple of videos, I did play some Blitz list with uh, Mitchell's Bubble and Loris, and I, I uh, said that I really like those interactions. I really like the Loris Bubble uh, games. But here's the thing, I think Loris Bubble is a bit less strong in Burn because you have a lot of anti synergy with like Rolling Vortex and Eidolon. It only works with uh, Monastery Swiss Spear. But I don't think it's necessarily bad. It can definitely grind games for you. Uh, so, and I think a lot of people are making some pretty good results with this kind of lists. So, let's get into it. For today's list, we have. Uh, one of Steel Fire, four Mistress Bubble for the Luris package, running three Skull Crack main, two Skewers, one Riv Bolt, three Searing Blaze. Um, that's pretty much for it for the main. Uh, for the side, we're running some Core Fire Walkers, a lot of prowess, path, of course. Uh, two anti life gain spell, always important for the uh, Heliod. Smash the Smithereen. So, some people are trying out Rip Apart and Burn. I'm really not a fan because all of your burn cards uh, must do damage. And if they don't do damage, it's because they're really important. So, for example, this doesn't do damage. But if you br bring that in against the deck, you're really happy to see it. This doesn't do damage, but if you bring in against the deck, you're probably really happy to see it. Same thing for this. So. I don't want to top deck a card and it's completely useless because my opponent doesn't have uh, an enchantment or creature or artifact. So you might say, okay, but why do you bring Smash? Well, Smash, I'm only going to bring that in when I know I'm going to be able to cast it and it's actually going to deal 3. So it's more about the dealing 3. Like I'm destroying an artifact, but also I'm dealing 3. It's The dealing 3 part is pretty important. Uh, wear and tear is also interesting. I'm seeing some people play that. I don't think destroying enchantments right now is that relevant, so I'm not really into that. Um, and always, uh, Dormant Script, Sol Solga Lantern. This package, I really, really like it with the Lurus package because it gives you good stuff for dredge and uh, when you really need to cast that, that crypt on zero. And then you can bring that in against like John or control decks to have some value and uh, kill their Renin 6 or Snapcaster Mage. So that's pretty much it for the list. As always, if you like this kind of content, definitely let me know by smashing the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of summer. Uh, that's my goal, so definitely tell your friends about it. Tell your friends, tell the whole world that we're playing red decks. As always, I want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon for supporting me. And if you want to join uh, our Discord server to talk list with me about this list, definitely check in the description, uh, the Discord server. So without further ado, uh, let's get into the leagues and I hope you enjoy. All right, round number one, we're on the play. Our Lurus. Um... I think this hand is pretty bad for lines to uh, mana spell, uh, three mana spells. It's underpowered hand. Uh, this one I'm gonna keep. Bring my mountain to the bottom. Pretty nice having Golden God Ireland. But that powerful. Uh, if we draw like more lines, but let's hope we don't. Red and six. All right. The Ren 6 and Scalding Tarn tells me it's maybe a uh, Teamer deck. 
Um, might as well play the idol on now before they have remen mana. All right, so it's the. Um, <laughs> it's actually funny. I just saw a video, and uh, and the the person that was playing uh actually played against this deck. It's like teamer, um, combo that you have to wear mine or some uh like tokens like uh with Strixhaven new spell and stuff, and. Uh, you actually do uh, the uh, oh my god, I don't remember the name. It's the how it's called. How it's called. Uh, it's a spell that, act, that like exiles your token, and then you can go search for like your Emrakul or uh, something like that. You have a bunch of ways to generate treasures or tokens and stuff. Alright, did you see? Idol one did pretty much all the work. Nice. Okay, so Searing Blaze is not great. Um honestly I don't have much for the matchup. I guess I'm just gonna bring Skull Crack, Rolling Vortex, and do I even even bother with Path? Uh, I don't think so. This one will go Lantern. Uh, I I don't think I even bother with with Path. Hmm. I could actually bring Smash Smithereens to destroy the tokens, but they can just sack in response. It seems a bit bad. Okay, so I think it's a fine hand. Since we're on the draw, we can manage to top deck a lion. We have Goblin Guide, Swiss Beer, even Skullcrack, and uh, Rolling Vortex. Oh, nice. Not the best line in the world, but I'm still gonna take it. I have a bolt. No bolt. Oh, there's flashing white too. Guess maybe for sideboard cards like timely and stuff. Uh, that's fortunate. Uh, we slam the rolling here. I think I'm just gonna play Swiss beer. It's better to play Swiss Spear into uh, potentially them having Reman or Aether Gust. Um, let's just bold face. Alright, so I'm not playing around Tamley here, obviously. So I'll just hope they don't have it. Another Goblin Guide. Sure, let's play it. It's like pretty much, it's pretty much sure that they're gonna take at least one point of damage with either with the fetch or one of the guides, so Skirtle Query is gonna be active. Blacking Bolt, okay. Don't want a Blacking Bolt, so I'm guess they, I guess they have the new spell, the is it spell? Oh, they don't. There. Okay, what? Why didn't you do that before fetching? Because <laughs> now you don't have the bolt. I think they might uh might have done a mistake there. Like maybe they wanted that bolt, so they grow spiral, but then they fetch to for the girl spiral, so all right, are we dead here? <laughs> or maybe we're gonna see the combo here. Uh, 
Uh, uh, time more, okay. So they don't have it yet. Oh my god, did they just top deck it? I think they just top decked it because they would have played it last turn, right? So this is the new card. Uh, they can get like another time warp and swing us again. Pretty nice. So we just have to hope they whiff one more time. Try right, to finish them off. Whiff, whiff. Right. Okay. Like, I don't want to bring path because <clears throat> it seems a bit bad if they hit the Emer cool and you're just like, oh damn, I wanted you to hit the dragon. Um, I don't think certain blades is particularly interesting either so i'm just gonna go like that again uh path seems a bit bad if they like they hit game or cool that's really good hand done an, an aggressive matchup so our life total doesn't really matter and even if it matters we still have helix eventually but it's pretty much like the first game, Eidolon, a uh, Golden Guide with Eidolon on the play, and this hand is actually better than our first game hand. All right, so if they have a Bolt plus this, could be annoying. We're gonna do the same thing we did uh, <laughs> round one, a uh, game one. So we're gonna attack first, hope they just bolt it, and then we're gonna play Eidolon. Ah, oh, Weather Storm. That's. Uh, no fun. Maybe they they learn from their mistake there, but I guess they do want to draw the water storm, so they they won't fetch. So we really have to keep that card in mind, like literally, like the way we lose here. Land nice. So we're gonna go. Wing. They have a bolt. No bolt. Wow. Okay, they are. They're not that much in a good position. We're just gonna go spike. And pass turn. We just we just have to hold skull crack for the rest of the game now. That's uh, that's pretty much the game plan here. I don't think they can win this game, honestly, um, because we, we have the skull crack, so I don't think they can win at this point. They need a force of negation, and I'm not sure they're playing force. So we're just going to go uh, seal of fire. And they need they need to re to respond in, in they need to answer before it's still fire because now they cannot cast a spell that cost. Yep. Let's just. Well, actually, let's not make the mistake. Let's uh, hit the storm trigger, and then oh crack! And then they cannot even force here because if they force, they just lose. I don't know, actually, they would be at the, uh, they would be fine. But they would have just gone like six life, which is not the end of the world since we have six damage in our hands. So, pretty nice game. Idle on pretty much mo both game, win game one and game three. All right, let's go to next match. All right, round number two, we're on the play. Um, four lands. With one creature only. Hit the Manila Lands here. Alright, that's uh, better. So we're gonna keep and put the skewer to the bottom. Good. 
So let's get a foundry, get our double white um, right now. Play with the guide. Back turn. A current great creator. So I hope this is like normal Tron and not Eldrazi Tron, but it is fine. Turn. I'm going to hold the bolt in case they play a chalice on one or just a Todd Nuts here, I guess. Uh, that's sad. Let's play the charm. Okay, take the charm. Uh, let's play this. Let's swing. So let's see if they want to block here. Do block indeed. I'm um, just going to kill it. Hope they don't have another one. Sure. Well, they have another one, doesn't matter now. <clears throat> okay, so do you have a uh, five uh, reality smasher in hand? Just hate when the Etron deck starts with double Eldrazi Temple. It's just so gross, man. It's worse than natural Tron, honestly. During Blaze. Uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, let's swing. Let's go crack your face. Okay, well actually right now it's just a 4-4. Not that bad. Alright, so let's see what they want to play here. Maybe the attack is... We might have 4-4, four, four, seems pretty good. Force Charm. Oh. Okay. Um, let's pass. Yep, so we're dead in uh, two turns, so we need a Boris Charm or just double bolt with the Sunday Canyon. Do that. Come on, Boris Charm. Oh, nice. <laughs> we actually hit it. Wow. Well, we could have hit like Ball plus Helix, like I said, but just Boris Char Charm is just way better, way more satisfying than hitting a double burn spell. All right, Drazi Tron, let's bring the uh, Smash. And Path. Plays. Uh, let's cut skull cracks. They might have the um. Let's go mine stone. In those situations, skull crack is pretty good. Uh, but I didn't see it, so I'm just gonna take them out, cause. So this hat is pretty good. I just. Pray that they don't have Chaos on one. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. But they didn't do anything turn one, so I'm pretty worried here. They might just kept the Chalice hand. Plus the... Please, no Chalice. 
Nope. Undo it. Mash. Mash. Uh, okay. Um, that's fine. We can do. Mm -hmm. And smash on top. Smash on top. Force charm number two is actually pretty good. Um, so we're just gonna pass here. Actually, I can't put Luris in my hand. Uh, Damn, uh, I'm pretty pretty sad that I didn't play Borstrom last turn, so this turn we would have gone Borstrom plus Cure, we would have had no good cards in our hands, so top knots here is way less of a problem. I guess I'm just gonna put Luris into my hand, next turn I can always go for double Borstrom. Hope they don't have a thought knots here, here. Okay. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, they just decide to take the charm. I'm gonna block here. I have Luris, so. Oh my god, that's the worst thing in the world when that happens. Okay, so let's play Luris. Um, do we play Luris here? Guess we're gonna play it next turn and we just wanna empty out our hand if they have another top knots here. Damn, I feel really feel really bad not not going for that skewer uh, for that boar charm turn two. Uh might just cost me the game, honestly. They have another one. Okay, they had their hand was really good. Hard to beat. Uh Question is, why do I still have idle on into my deck? <laughs> oh my god, it's been a while. I'm sure some of you guys like screaming, why do I still have idle on to your deck? Oh my god, okay, I just I forgot about it. Sorry. Gold crack is way better than idle on. Oh, why do I still have idle on my deck? I have no idea. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. And since we're on the play, um, Chaos on one is really less powerful. Even in our, it's it's still gonna be good because it's gonna take at least one of our cards, but still it's gonna be less powerful. Please don't have it again. I don't have a uh, thought not here shenanigans. Oh my god, stop it with your ton nuts here. I hate the card. I hate this card. Okay, we're just gonna go for bolt. Let's go everything upstairs here. Bolt, bolt. Bling. Your. Pass. So they're at five. So even if they have thought knots here, they need something else um, because they're technically at two. Chaos on two. Well, we have a lightning bolt. Fine. So since they didn't play the thought knots here, we're just gonna crack the Sunday Canyon. Try to 
hit our win. Path is our win. Please don't I'll get another reshaper here. That would be annoying. Thank you. And we win. Feels really good winning against Etron. It's one of our not one of our worst, but pretty difficult matchup in general because of Chalice and Thought Nuts here. All right, let's get to the next round. All right, num round number three. We're on the play again. Very, very nice. Uh, we're going to keep this hand since we have a bubble and that's quite, it's going to, it's like if we were on the draw pretty much, we're going to have two draws to draw our second land. And if we do, it's, it's an idle one. It's a guide into an idle one, which is always, always great. Uh, usually. Let's we're playing against Dredge. Sometimes you play against Dredge and you just like you waste your good your good hands on on them. Like you have guide into idle on into uh, like a lot of lightning bolts and stuff, but idle on is just not that powerful against Dredge. Alright, we got out of the veil. So we're playing against maybe Jund. We'll see. Those double door charm are looking a bit awkward, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh but we're gonna we're gonna draw vintage, right? It's gonna be fine. Position me. And they have a bolt on top. That's uh, unfortunate. This guy is gonna get to get in for uh, for four, which is good. Man, white source. Oh, that's really not good. All right, pass turn. Mm, okay. Guess we just discard charm. Hmm. I mean, if we do draw land, is Boris charm better or Adelon better? We know they're gonna go for Liliana next turn, so I guess the charm is better that way, uh, is worse because that way we can uh, play Eidolon and one, our guide is gonna get protected, uh, our Eidolon is gonna get protected if you want a Liliana Edict. Please, land, the land is huge here. Oh my god, that was game swinging draw. Okay. So our, uh, so our golden guide is useless at this point. We're not going to get to attack. But it doesn't mean uh, the game is over. Uh, because if they just play... Fail, sack, we draw land, we can play the charm. And... Okay, so just lightning bolt. Fine. You draw the line, but it's not the right color. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's, that's just sad. Okay. So I guess our ally is going to get to do the two damage. They don't Liliana, they just push. Okay. Sure, that's, that's fine. They're at six. We just need a line that is white here. Come on. Come on. Nice. We did it in the end. 
So we have a client to dust. Nice. <laughs> okay. The the mounted top deck was so sad. I can't believe it. Okay, so let's bring skull crack. Got some blaze. Let's bring soul guy lantern. Um I'm not gonna bring Torment's Crypt. I'm just gonna bring like two path and Do we wanna cut the I guess we can cut a bubble. Like I don't want that much to have bubble in my deck, since if I don't have if I have an early bubble and they have a go if I just grow them. They're going for free, but bubble is still really good. If the game goes too long, we can all grind them. All right, speaking of the devil, that's a good hand. Honestly, we just we just have to keep this. So let's go, bubble, bubble. Doesn't matter since we don't have another <clears throat> line in our hand. We're just gonna go right now for the guide. And let's go. Best turn. So what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to bubble myself. If I don't draw, if I see that I don't have a line on top, I'm going to use the other bubble. If I do have a line on top, I'm not going to use it right now. Because I don't need the second bubble right now. Um, I already have like a backhand at this point. Right, they go for triple mode, discarding two lines. Uh, sure. Brutality is always cool. Okay. So, what do we have on top? Vintage, sure. So we're not gonna we're not gonna crack the second one. Gonna play idle on pass. So the reason is I don't uh, do that is because I don't have the best card in my deck in my hand, and I'm tapped out. So let's say I would have cracked this, and I would have got a boar charm. If they go for Inquisition, they can just take my boar charm. So I don't want. I don't want to do that. Okay, so I think this game is gonna be a grind. Um. I think Loris is going to become useful. I think I have to crack the bubble. I want to draw a third line here. Put it foot hills. Nice. I don't know why I targeted myself. For fun, I guess. Let's kill uh, the Liliana. And play with foot hills and pass. All right. Lurus going to have to shine. Mm, rather annoying. Discarding Ren Six and Blood Braid Elf. Alright. Crack this. Uh, let's helix your face. So, I think I'm going to put Loris into my hand. I'm just going to hope they don't have, don't have a discard spell. That's my, my game plan here.
Okay. Let's go, Luris. I think I'm just gonna go guide rather than idle on. My life total is becoming pretty relevant, and I don't want to die to just my own idle on at this point. Okay. Okay, so I think I have to pass. Keep the idle on and def uh, the goblin guide in defense. Now they're gonna swing for six, seven, eight. I mean, at the same time, I'm not dead, and if if I do this, I'm not going going to be able to kill them while blood braid elf. Okay, so they might just play blood braid elf uh, and not the ravine. So let's attack. Played with Braid Elves, let's see what they hit. Got the Decay. Okay. So... Am I just dead no matter what? I think so. Need to draw Helix. I'm good enough. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Again, we can always, I forgot I had a sun bake. Uh, nope. Yeah. So honestly, since they have Season Power Mencer, I think Searing Blaze might be fine. Hmm. Maybe you just bring Searing Blows. Uh, because sometimes they're not going to get their Tears and Pyromancer hand. And Path is going to be most of the time better. <clears throat> um, and this hand is good, but it falls a bit short if they have Inquisition. I, th I still think we have to keep against Jund. You know, to try to get like super powerful hands. And then if they don't have Inquisition, it's gonna be good. We have 12 point of burns right off in our hand. Uh, let's spike and pass. Mm hmm. nice so we want to play around collective brutality here and just double bold face I mean I think it's better to just hope they don't have it um, and just push because next turn we're just gonna go for triple bolt or just depends on what we they do all right, that's the best case scenario. They just pass a turn. Let's play Goblin Guide. I'm guessing they must have at least one removal spell in their hand because if they don't, their hand is bad. So let's swing. Yep, fine. Terminate, so it's gonna get the guide. But I mean, it's two mana, so it's almost their whole next turn. Not that great. Liliana of the Veil. Wow, Fetch Shock. It's nice for us. Oh, that's fine. Totally fine.
Hey. Main season Pyram in this scenario is oof. Even discarding two lines, season Pyro is really not that great. So we're just gonna go bolt your face, bolt your face. Uh, we have a lot of top decks to just win on the spot. That is one of them. And bolt. Then our our hand was pretty. A lot of gas that we had in our hand. Alright, uh, very nice game. Let's get to the next one. Okay, round number four. We're on the draw this time. And we're playing against Luris Mirror. Affected by the Luris logo. Alright, let's keep. Let's see which Luris deck they are playing. Shock, so... Okay. Okay. Why does? Okay, it's soul tie. Do I need, even need to bolt this? Not really, honestly. I don't need to bolt this. It's one of those weird scenarios where I don't. Th oh, I needed to bolt this. This is in fact. Wow. Okay. This is in fact. Okay. <laughs> wow. So, doesn't matter really since they have a Nick Moth Nexus. We just have to seal a fire and pass turn. They have a spell pierce. Oh, all right. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do the mind games. Our hand is pretty bad right now. Like, our best card is Lightning Bolt, but the rest of our cards are a bit clunky since we don't have that much mana. We can draw a line next turn, could be pretty good. Yep, take two. Alright, down to two infects. Line is really important, actually. It's fine. That's also pretty good. Got a bit more pressure on my opponent. Mmm, that's gross. Okay, I think we just lose because of spell skyt. Damn, that's gross. I think spell skyt just. Yep, just gonna do it. Oh my god, yep. Pass the turn. Is it ability to? Oh my god. I have to do it, fortunately. We're gonna redirect. That's fine. We're gonna bolt. We're gonna redirect. And let's hope we don't die. We have the kill. They don't have the kill. Oh, yes, it's eight. Exactly eight. Mmm. Damn. Creatures got in there in the end. Damn. If I knew 
it was in fact i would have bolted the noble hire 100 percent uh that was that was huge okay so let's make some cuts let's cut the charm Damn. Real unfortunate. I wasn't expecting a black infect deck. Um, I was expecting a soul tie deck that is playing noble hierarch sometimes just to put some pressure with ice fang curl and stuff. Um, like those weird lists. If I bolted the noble hierarch turn one, I think there is a good chance we would have been able to win. Mm. Yeah, that's not good enough. Oh my god. Guess we can keep this, but I really wanted a creature. Uh, let's put security critics to the bottom. And let's go. Go bubble myself. I do want a sacred foundry, so we're just gonna go bubble and pass and be sad. Go bubble. I don't want a scalding turn. Let's fetch that away. Idle on top, please. That would be nice. Idle on. Idle on. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so if they don't have a removal, this game might be ours. Boy, all right. Is there an instant in the grave? There is, in fact, no instance in the graves. So we have two Searing Blades plus Seal of Fire. And swing for two, is that good enough? Yeah, that's fine, I think. I think the goif is going to be uh, pretty annoying, so we're going to have to do that. And makes us be able to attack with the Eidolon. Eidolon is, if they don't have a removal for Eidolon, can be like a huge, super, uh, a super huge problem for them. <clears throat> okay, down to, to infect. Rift Bolt is pretty good. Um, we just go for a spike here? Yeah. Spike. Because now that we go for a spike, it means they cannot even cast a spell that costs less than two, uh, three. I don't want to lock them out necessarily, but maybe I was supposed to. Uh, that's fine. Because there is no combination of spell that kills me. Even if they had scale up um, plus... They'll pierce my helix. 
that's all that's also that's uh that's fine it's uh, only nine in fact Now we can just hard cast the roof bolt. Yep. Okay, so we go like this again. <clears throat> we have to keep it in mind that they brought in goifs. Um, this game it was fine, but it could be a problem if we don't have an answer for it. So path is actually. Pretty important card. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Let's keep. So usually against aggressive matchups, I don't like having double horizon lines. But except like if they don't have like double goif, should be fine. Because we have the path for the first one. We can serum blaze a creature like mobile. Not nice that uh, they had a turn one noble. So. And you do. What is this? Okay. That's interesting. That feels a bit bad. You know? Maybe it's just me. Guess what? I'm gonna do both. I wanna draw some cards. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. I guess we go for it. Wing. They block, they kill our guide. That's their plan, right? Oh. Hey. Right. That's turn. Um Well, that's annoying. Probably means they have another pump to protect it. Well, I guess we have to go for it. Fortunately, or do we just accept it? Yeah, and we can path. If they go for the kill. So the only thing that it's a hex proof. They need hex proof here. That's the only thing that they could have got. So we could have spiked. Okay.
So I don't think that they're going to have a way to kill me. Let's first of all let's swing. Reveal with the guide what they're drawing. Noble Hierarch is fine, so we're gonna go for Searing Blaze Your Plague. So and now I don't think they have double pump spell in hand. It's pretty unlikely, I think. So I think it's safe to put our defenses down for one turn. And if they do have a tail up, well, uh, well, it's not even lethal if they have scale up. Because double level trigger is going to be only nine. Man, there are one with our burn spells that's so close from being uh, lethal and then next turn they can start doing some chopping, uh, chum blocking, chopping. Oh wow, they did have scale up and rancor. Wow, that's the rest of their hand was noble hark, rancor and scale up. Are you kidding me? Damn, that's really, really unfortunate. I don't think we were able to play around this. Uh, because actually we could with the blaze, keeping the blaze up. But I think playing scared was, was bad there. I think it was fine doing our play. They need to exactly scale up plus something else to win. Yeah, feels feels uh feels a bit bad. All right, let's go to our final round. Okay, final round. We're on play. Uh, let's pull that hand and let's keep with the roll crack at the bottom. We're up against. What is going on? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the snow deck. Wow. We're playing moderate here. All right. Mm hmm. And five mana to draw to draw some cards in modern seems a bit bad. I mean, there is like into the story that is pretty good because it is like. Four mana draw three instant speed or four instant speed. Yeah, they discard it. <laughs> okay, so let's. Okay, that is. Super slow. Torrential Gear Hulk. Snap, just jump mode. Sure. Like, their deck is. Like, my Pioneer deck is faster than this.
<clears throat> Don't want to go for Lurus post combat. I want to see if they can tap out so I can safely play my Lurus. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just gonna pass honestly. Um, I don't have to play anything and I have lethal in hand. Okay, do I want to react to this? Uh, Go on, tap out, tap out. Tap out. So I'm gonna go for Boros Charm here, if they want to count through this. So I was going to Skullcrack first, but I saw the Rogue Rim, so maybe they're playing like Helixes. Or is this logic not? Oh, okay. So let's go for scroll crack. Um, and if they want a helix in response, my god, next turn I'm gonna get to have the Loris. Okay. Try to go for it. Bring back the guy. So, Helix here. Or any removal, like a snap block, maybe. And a leak, okay. The bolt. All right. Down to one. Okay. Uh, let's try to play guide. I know it doesn't play re well around Cryptic, but I'm gonna do that anyway. Because <clears throat> uh, they have a Archmage Charm. Sure. And GG. Okay, so I was a bit uh, like saying things about their deck, how it is slow, but I think it's still going to have like some good sideboard cards against us, or uh, I guess they're going to have. Um, so we have to be careful, I think, with the white. They might have timely enforcement or helixes and stuff. They had the bolts. Seems like a weird. Maybe it's just is it, and they're splashing white for some sideboard cards. Um, we're gonna have to see, I guess. Yeah, that's a very, very nice hand. Uh, can't ask for much more than that, honestly. Well, we can ask for another creature. That's fine. <laughs>
Okay. Frostbite. Nice. Uh, try to use a spear. We're playing Helix. Oh, okay, so that's still perch. All right. So I'm glad the Swiss Spear got targeted over my Rolling Vortex for the purge. Very nice top deck. I was not going to do that, but since we topped that Goblin Guide, I'm going to play that. Alright, another Purge. Okay, so you don't have another Purge, right? I mean, play Eidolon here. I think I'm going to play the Adelorn over the Vortex. I think it's probably better. <clears throat> so if I didn't draw the guide here, uh, I was going to put Luris into my hand. The next turn, I could go Luris plus Goblin Guide. But now that we drew Guide, I think Guide Eidolon or Guide uh, rolling Vortex is better. <clears> hmm. <throat> that great. Um. Do we even bother attacking? I don't want to attack into a snap. I guess since we have the Lurus, it's fine. Yeah. Are they going to block here or just frostbite? Ow, they actually frostbite taking two more damage. I'm fine with that, honestly. I'm just going to go for vortex now. It's I, I, I wasn't expecting them to do that. Oh, right. OK, I already play my land. I was like, oh no. <clears throat> now that you have two purge out of the way, the only way that they can remove this rolling vortex is bounce it or snap purge. Unless they're playing three purge, but uh seems unlikely. Uh, yep, that's a lot of pressure. We could die to this. Let's crack this. Uh. Okay. That's good. Uh. We go. We go Luris, 
pass. Hope it's not a mistake to not play the vintage here, but I think having the Scalding Tarn to protect our butt against light gain is probably better. <clears throat> and I don't really want to play Skullcrack into a counter spell and then they, I just give them uh, more monks and I just die faster. So I'm just going to go for like a huge bitch, big turn of spell spell. Or at Lurus, Skullcrack would be pretty good. That's why Vintage is so, is so awkward right now. Okay, second Skullcrack is great. That's what I wanted to see. So I'm just going to go for... Uh, I guess I can do that at their turn because I don't want to... <laughs> Run into double counter spell and then I just die. Can do that actually at their uh map purge. Okay. If they snap purge my rolling vortex, I'm just gonna double skull crack. Cause they need like they actually no, there's nothing they can do. Oh, very nice. They're not playing the Purge. Right. Okay, they're playing the Purge. I thought they, they thought about it and thought that uh, it was too risky to do that. <clears throat> Alright, 4-1. Uh, let's go for a small wrap-up. Alright, so it was a very nice burn league. Uh, we did have uh, pretty good hands and we started uh, on the play four times. So I think the luck was on our side this game. We did not have necessarily like super good matchups. Usually Jeskai is pretty bad. Uh, Etron is pretty bad usually. Um, but I think we did have powerful hands. Uh, was Lurus relevant in this league not that much but we did uh, we were able to grind out some games with Lurus. i think Lurus is pretty good it's it's a good addition to the deck i think um is it worth it to have the mishra's bubble um still not sure i'm gonna have to play it more with the deck but i don't dislike it for now i think Lurus is just very a very very powerful card and if you have like four bubble that can uh, help you um, uh, like grind out easier because creatures at the end are not that good uh, if your opponent has a big board but the bubble can make you draw into more burn spells and stuff just that the, the package usually is not that good in a burn deck compared to a prowess deck because you only have like one Swiss Spear that can interact with the Bubble or Lurus. And usually yeah, you don't want to play Bubble into your Eidolon and Bubble into your Rolling Vortex and stuff. Alright, so if you enjoyed the video, definitely let me know by smashing the like button. And uh, if you want to see more of this content, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put more videos uh, coming really soon this summer. So, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in another video. Bye-bye, guys.